Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series For API Recommended Practice 578 Guidelines for a Material Verification Program For New and Existing Assets In this lecture, we will discuss the considerations and general concerns of API Recommended Practice 578 This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 4, as well as reviews of some of the important sub-clauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. The text portion of is distributed amongst seven sub-clauses. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 4 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Carbon steel substitutions in low alloy steel systems When considering the likelihood of material nonconformances, it is worth noting that Historically, the greatest number of material nonconformances with serious consequences have involved placing unapproved carbon steel components into low alloy steel piping systems. Alloy substitutions for carbon steel Usually substituting an alloy in carbon steel equipment does not cause a problem. But the substitution of hardenable alloy materials for carbon steel has resulted in failure and loss of containment in systems include those handling wet hydrogen sulfide hydrofluoric acid or sulfuric acid where material substitution could lead to failure and or loss of containment the extent of verification should be planned and or increased in order to foster effectiveness as well as validate the materials specified for use. Stainless steel and non-ferrous substitutions within high alloy systems Positive material identification should be considered by the owner user depending upon the level of risk, probability and consequence of failure, based upon the potential damage mechanisms, and damage rates associated with the installation of an unapproved high alloy, during fabrication and installation. Examples of these situations, include the substitution of stainless steels for alloy 400 in hydrofluoric acid alkylation services, the substitution of a non-stabilized grade of stainless steel for a stabilized grade in a high temperature service, or substitution of type 304 stainless steel for type 316 stainless steel, where the molybdenum content is important for corrosion resistance. Residual elements in carbon steels in hydrofluoric acid alkylation units Carbon steels in some specific locations in hydrofluoric acid service can experience increased corrosion rates based on the residual element content in the steels, for example chromium, nickel, copper. Positive material identification methods can be used to assess the suitability of materials for hydrofluoric acid service. Review questions Question number one Which of the following material nonconformances has created the greatest number of events with serious consequences? Answer is A. Question number two. Hardenable alloys may cause failure in some carbon steel systems. In which of the following process services would substituting a hardenable alloy for carbon steel result in a potential problem? 
Question number two. Hardenable alloys may cause failure in some carbon steel systems. In which of the following process services would substituting a hardenable alloy for carbon steel result in a potential problem? Answer is D. Question number three. Which residual element in a carbon steel has not caused increased corrosion rates in HF acid piping system? Answer is A. Question number four. Low silicon carbon steel can corrode rapidly when exposed to Answer is C Question number 5 Carbon steel can corrode rapidly in hydrogen-free sulfidation conditions when the silicon content in carbon steel is. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching, and please waiting us for next lecture.